It can now cost $4 million to skip the queue at the Panama Canal. Here's a summary of the article. A log jam at the Panama Canal is leaving ship owners hauling everything from fuels to grains between the US and Asia with no good options. Spend weeks waiting at sea, sail around South America, or pay an exorbitant amount to jump the queue. Japan's Eneos Group forked out $3.98 million in an auction Wednesday to secure a crossing, bidding documents show. The congestion is being caused by a drought in Panama, which has lowered water levels on the canal, disrupting trade between the US and Asia in the weeks ahead of Christmas and beyond. At least one other ship owner took the costly decision to divert its tanker from the canal to this much longer journey. You are getting close to $4.5 million to use the canal, so that is pricing out a lot of ships, Oystein Kaliklev, chief executive officer of Flex LNG Limited and Avance Gas Holding Limited, said during a conference call Wednesday. The Panama Canal Authority confirmed a record was set in the November 8 auction but didn't name the auction winner. A queue of ships waiting to use the canal has been growing for weeks as the authority announced increasingly drastic restrictions for the depleted waterway lasting into next year, while also selling the rights to jump the queue. This post received a score of 3,800, with an upvote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. A shipper has paid nearly $4 million to jump to the front of the line at the congested Panama Canal waterway, a record high. You are getting close to $4.5 million to use the canal, so that is pricing out a lot of ships. Oystein Kaliklev, chief executive officer of Flex LNG Limited and Avance Gas Holding Limited, said during a conference call Wednesday when asked about the state of the canal. To manage the situation, the canal's managing authority has announced increasingly drastic restrictions for the depleted thoroughfare. The Panama Canal Authority also holds auctions for those wishing to jump to the front of the line. Wait so? If I'm at the back of the line I have to bribe the person in front of me then the person after that? Or, is it the canal telling me fuck all y'all? This other dude is paying us 4M to jump in front. You are paying the canal. So the canal is incentivisted to slow down passings as much as possible. Uh, why is that? They still get paid for every ship through. The more ships through the more revenue they get. There are drought conditions right now limiting the number of crossings they're willing to do in a day. Soon to be outdone by Disney's Fast Pass. Disney's is actually cheap compared to others. Universal's is over $100 a day. And that's why it's actually a fast pass and Disney sucks. I've never paid for the Universal Express Pass, but my understanding is you get to use it as many times as you want during the day, right? Whereas Disney's you can only use it on each attraction once per day. My experience is 10 years old but my fast pass in Universal allowed me one fast run on every ride and then I had to queue like the other plebs. It cost quite a bit nearly a 100 if I remember correctly. Used to have an annual pass when I was at UF. There were two fast passes. One was one per ride and the other was unlimited. Everyone buys the fast pass and then for another four meters you can get the premium fast pass. They probably hired a Disney exec. That original idea of putting a canal through Nicaragua might be looking more tempting to some folks, except for the volcanoes. Nicaragua will have the same problem, not enough fresh lake water. Bring back the clipper routes. Make for the horn. These theme park fast passes are getting out of hand. The underlying problem here is global warming. In a part of the world where rain is an almost everyday occurrence, Panama is experiencing drought conditions unheard of previously. The fresh water lake that the canal empties into is too low to support the traffic. This is very bad news for everyone involved and is not expected to improve any time in the next few years. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.